I'm going to show you a very um, simple fly to tie. It's called the squirrel and blue. It's a very popular fly, particularly amongst sea trout fishermen. I've got a size 6 hook. Nicely tight in my fly vice there. It's a low water pattern and uh, has good hooking pro uh, properties and uh, it's quite, quite a commonly used uh, hook. I'm going to start. I'm going to start by tying in my thread. A few turns there just to trap the thread in. Trim out the waist. And now I'm going to continue winding down the shank. Until my thread is just opposite the barb. If you look there, you'll see the barb and the thread. At this point, I'm going to tie in some silver tinsel to give me a nice silver body, very lifelike body. Okay. Always start with all of your materials touching the hook. Just a couple of turns over to trap it in, and then a nice even wind back up towards the head of the fly to the eye. Now you want to wrap this tinsel around the hook in nice even touching turns to give a nice even body. Now when you reach the head, you don't want to go right up to the head. You want to leave yourself a little bit of room to form the where to form the hackle in that. So you can finish just a little bit short. Trap it in with the thread. There we are. Trim off the excess. And I've got a nice, neat, even body. Lovely. I'm going to use cock hackle. I how to prepare this. Get the nip out the fibres there. Pull it forwards and very carefully trim off the underneath so that it forms a little barbed area. Offer that up to the hook. A couple of turns, tight turns just to trap it down and just wind forwards to the eye. And now there you've got you've had the trap down. Take my pack or pliers. I'm just going to turn the feather over the hook in nice even turns towards the eye. That'll be enough. And what I'd like to do is just trap that in. A couple of turns to trap that in and then trim off the excess. I've now got a nice bushy head, but it's not the hackle that we want. To do that, I suggest you wet forefinger and thumb. Off your tongue is probably just as easy. And pull the fibres down and then back and wind your thread back over the top of that. Now, next material we're going to use is squirrel hair. What I suggest you do is just take a small amount of squirrel hair. Trim it off, offer it up to your fly. And you can see there it's a bit too long, so I'm just going to bring it back a little bit so that the end of the hair is just at the back of the hook there. What I'm going to do is trim it off, 
it's nice and easy. Place it on top of the hook. Three nice tight turns and then fold the feather, the hair back and a couple of turns over the top and that makes it all stand up on end. Fold that back and finish. Got a little bit of hackle trap there, so I'll just trim that away. Wind a nice even head. Over the fly. Get your whip finish tool. Give it a nice neat whip finish. Trim it off. Couple of dabs of varnish. Couple of dabs of varnish. So finish it off. and a vice over, put a couple of dabs on the underneath and a nice red head if you can finishing it with red head varnish does do the job just as nicely and there we have the squirrel and blue sea trout fly <laughs>